All right, this is grade five, module two, lesson three. And in this lesson, we're gonna be representing fractions as division using models. Specifically, we're gonna be using tape diagrams to help students understand that relationship between the division problem and its resulting mixed number. So let's get started on this. And uh, it says complete the equation and statement, uh, rename fractions as whole or mixed numbers when possible. So it says we've got two meters of wood and they are cut into five equal pieces. So the first thing we, we want to understand is that's two meters being cut into five equal pieces, which means we already know. So each of these pieces is two fifths. So each of these is two fifths. And each piece of wood is there it is, two fifths of a meter. So parents and teachers were helping students connect this pictorial representation with these abstract you know, numbers and symbols, this division uh, sentence and the resulting fraction sentence or number. All right, so now it says six meters of wood are cut into five equal pieces. So there's our six meters cut into five equal pieces. And of course, we wanna know what is the length of one of those pieces. So we can see that our division sentence is six divided by five, which as a fraction, it's gonna be six fifths. And so now technically each of these pieces is six fifths. Now technically we can say we are done. So we could say six fifths meter long. But they also want us to think about this as, an, as a mixed number. So the idea is if we have six meters being cut into five pieces, uh, so that means six meters being cut into five pieces. That's our division sentence. And we can see that each um, piece, six meters being cut into five pieces, each piece is one whole meter. And then we have one little meter left over. And so we're gonna have to cut that meter into the five pieces because we want five equal pieces here. And so that's gonna give us one fifth left over. And now if we wanted to draw a picture of that, what would that picture look like? So obviously we already have the tape diagram right here, but I'm gonna say, okay, we've got six meters. So I'm gonna draw that six meters. So I'm gonna draw one meter right there, two meters, three meters, four meters, Oh, let's get this guy out of the way. And then five meters and then six meters. All right. So if we wanted to cut these six meters into five equal parts, all right, kind of like sharing it with five people. So five parts. So I'm going to say, okay, so that's part A, B, C, D, and E. There's our five one two three four five parts so what are we going to do with this last remaining meter well that last remaining meter needs to be cut into five equal parts and then that's part a b c d and e and so we can now see that a gets one whole plus one fifth and that's exactly what we knew with our long division right there. Six divided by five is one whole with one fifth left over. All right, number three, draw a tape diagram to represent the expression. All right, so we've got this expression and we're supposed to draw a tape diagram that relates it and then uh, divide and express that quotient as a mixed number. All right, so we're gonna draw our tape diagram and what is our tape diagram gonna look like? Well, it's gonna be a tape and that whole tape is representing 
11, what is it, like 11 meters. And we're going to divide it by 6, meaning we're going to cut it into 6 equal parts. And we want to know how much is this piece right there, one of those parts. So we know that the answer as a fraction is 11 6. So each of these is 11 6. But they want us to know, uh, to say, what is it between? What is it between? Well, let's see. If this was uh, ones, so if this is one, 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 and one, well, that's, we've used up six. If this is two, 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 two and two, that's 12, that's too much. So we know it's gotta be somewhere between one and two, some amount between one and two, because if each of these was worth one, that only uses six. If each of them uses two, that uses 12, and that would be too much. So one is too little, two is too much. So therefore, our answer has to be between one and two. And now we're gonna use some division to figure out exactly what is that answer. So that's gonna be 11 divided by six. Six goes into 11 one time with five left over. And so that is my fraction left over. So that means each of these pieces, each of these pieces gets one and five sixths. One and five sixths, one and five sixths, one and five sixths, one and five sixths one and five sixths and one and five sixths. Now, if we were to add all of that up, if we added up all the whole numbers, we'd get six holes. And if we added up all of our fractions, five six plus five six plus five six, we would get 30 over six, which simplifies to five. This piece right here is five. So six plus five is 11. So that's how we knew that our answer of one and five sixths is correct. All right, we got a little bit of review. It says complete the area model, then multiply using partial products. All right, so here's our area model. And we're gonna say this piece is 10, this piece is two, and the entire width is 424. And then, um, so what is the area of this thin strip right here? It's gonna be two times 424, and so that is 848. And then what is the area of this big strip here? Well, when you're multiplying by 10, the digits shift one space to the left, and so we have to fill in with an extra zero, so that's 4,240. And then we add them together, and that gives us our answer. Whatever, 4,240 plus 848 is. So I'm going to add those together. 80, carry the one, 5,088. Now we were supposed to go over here and, and do that using the partial products method. So the idea being, we're going to do two times everything, two times 424. So two times 424 is 848. Then we're gonna multiply by that 10. So we know multiplying by that 10, it means we're gonna end up with that extra zero and 10 times 424 is 424 tens, which is 4,240. And then we add these together and we get 5,088. And what is the measure in degrees of an angle that is 54 360 ths of a turn? So you remember that a complete circle, a complete rotation is 360 degrees. So it's 300 degrees. Imagine taking a pizza and slicing it into 360 slices. That's what a degree is, one degree is one out of those 360 slices. And so if we have 54 slices, 
that's 54 degrees. And folks, that wraps up grade five, module two, lesson three, representing fractions as division. And don't forget to subscribe.